Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since I said those words because I've been missing since Valentine's Day. I think I don't really need to discuss why the world has gone to hell in a handbasket and it took me a long time to kind of get out of my own head and think about what it is that I wanted to communicate with people, if people were ready for that, if I was ready for that. And after a lot of soul searching and kind of deciding what I wanted to do, I decided to push past it. At some point or the other, you have to decide what you are going to do to create your own version of normal, and this is mine. It takes a lot out of people to make videos like this. It's a piece of themselves that they're putting out on camera and into the world for judgment. And I really didn't want to be in that position for the last couple of months because I felt a lot of other things needed to be addressed. But at this point, I think it's necessary for us to come to terms with it's a bit of sanity to do something like this and feel like it's your connection to your past and your, your, your sense of normal as it was. So now that we've addressed that, um, let's address some other basics. I'm in a whole new space. Um, you are getting something very simple. It is not fancily edited. It's not going to be a big dramatic thing. I don't have lots of filters. I am in my room filming this with a phone. This is as much as you get from me right now. But the one good thing is it's extreme reality. Like there is no artifice to this. I have no sponsorship deals. I don't get PR anymore. None of those things happen because we all kind of fell off, especially micro-influencers with the pandemic. So every opinion I give you, as always, is my own. If I received a product as a gift, if I am an affiliate, anything else, I put everything in the description box below so that you can see or I will mention it during the course of the video. But it's important to me that I'm as honest as I possibly can be with you. That being said, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so let's address a couple of things. First of all, do not look at my hair. I will do another video where I show you how to make this look somewhat presentable. My color isn't too bad because my stylist is awesome. And even though I am not leaving the house to go to the hairdresser anymore, she gave me a couple tips and tricks to kind of keep the color looking a little bright and hide those grays away. And that I will share with you in another video. So let's talk a little bit about why we're doing this video. I've had six months to test this stuff, literally six months. And I am seeing a result. So I don't know if any of you have watched my old videos. If you hadn't, I'll link it uh, up at the top or I'll have some links below. I have hyperpigmentation badly actually on this area of my cheek as well as hair. There's a lot of reasons why that could have happened, mostly because I do not listen and in my youth I did not do proper sun care. But I have found huge difference since I've been using these products in the parents of my dog spots, i.e. They're almost gone. If you really look at it, you have to struggle to like find that little spot. Now, rosacea is a whole different animal and we will deal with that another time. But I do not want to overwhelm my skin with a bunch of different products that might be competing with each other. So here's what I do. I have just washed my face. I usually use just a makeup urethra and I always use this, which is the Paracone MD Gentle Hypoallergenic Cleanser. I like this, it does well with my skin. It's a huge bottle. It's a little pricey to be honest, but it's a lot of product you get and it lasts forever. So that's how I started off. So next what I'm doing is I am actually getting into toner. So I went to a skincare specialist recently, who kind of literally wrote down these steps for me because we get a lot of products, but we don't know in what order we're supposed to use them or what reacts with what. She was really helpful in getting that information to me. I will link her down below. BRG Skin is who she is. So if you are in Trinidad, definitely look her up. She's absolutely amazing. So what I'm using right now is the Laneige Toner. So this is a normal to dry skin toner, which is great for me because I have very, very dry skin. I just put it on a regular cotton pad. Um, a couple splashes, nothing too great. And I avoid, obviously, the eye area. I don't want to, you know, burn myself or anything like that. So I just kind of go over it very, very lightly, light touch, all the way down. And I swear to you, I never used toner before. It matters. It really, really makes a difference. I always kind of felt like it was an extra step I didn't understand too much. And I didn't see the value in. But I promise you, especially if you're wearing makeup, you will think that you've gotten it all. You haven't. You use toner, it takes 
everything off. So just dry light pressure, two fingers, just going over it and we're good to go. So I just give that a minute just to dry off. I don't know if you want to see this, but just for you to get an idea of what this looks like. I don't know, it's tough with the lights, but you can see that there's a little bit of the kind of residual oils that have come off my skin. And what's really nice about this is that it makes me feel like my skin is really clean and really ready to accept whatever it is that I put on next. So here's what I have discovered. So I found this line called Barriel. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. It's kind of like a small company. This stuff isn't super expensive. And they sent me this stuff to try. And it's been six months and I haven't um, sent them back the links. They keep asking me, have you tried it? What do you think? Is you any thoughts? And I'm like, well, let me get back to you. And here's why. I didn't want to put my name on anything that I didn't believe in. And this stuff takes a while to work, but it works. Now, I got three things from them. One is the Line Eraser, which came in this terrifying package, to be honest. I mean, I get the idea of it, I guess. Like, I guess it's a play on, like, no Botox, you know? But packaging's a bit much for me. I got this, which is the serum, which the packaging came a little banged up, and it's very reflective, so it's tough to see, but it's there. But this, my boy, is the winner. So this is the... Um, let me get this right advanced formula porcelain skin brightening cream for age spots freckles and uneven skin tone hydrochloroquinone free let's go with that i don't know what it, it's that it's that free how's that it's that free i'll put it in the comments below so here's what i like about this so i've been using these products in combination with things i already use and I have seen a dramatic difference in the dark spots. So I'm actually gonna put this stuff on with you in the order that I put it on in and walk you through what my experience has been with each one. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start with the wrinkle cream in essence. It's a line eraser. It's supposed to be for your um, fine lines, crow's feet, things like that. So it comes in this and they say to apply it directly to the area, which I guess is a hell of a, a um, profile picture. But I do apply it on my finger, so I just squeeze a little bit with the applicator and it comes out tinted. I rub that between my fingers and then I apply it like kind of where I have issues, kind of in the corners here. And I do feel like a nice kind of plumping effect. Now, it's not something necessarily you feel right away, but it's something that definitely has a long term effect because I have been seeing if you look really close you're not seeing any of those little crow's feet anymore. And just for the record, I'm 41 now, huh? so this is important information. So I pat in a little bit here. Now, originally, I was doing it here as well, but remember, I've been doing this for six months. I don't need to do it here anymore. So that is a win in my book, because when I need to stop using a product because it's done its job, I think we're on point, right? So next, what I usually do is the dark spot cream, which is this one, right? This is to apply directly to the area, and it's just a kind of thick white lotion. This is to apply directly to the area where you have the dark spots. So this is what I've been doing for the last uh, six months, like I said. So I've had this stuff for a long time. So I've been applying it, just a little drop goes a long way. I'm kind of rubbing it into the specific area. I'm not spreading it all over my face. That's not what it's for. And it's been working out really, really well because I am seeing huge reduction, like I said. And I will try and find an old picture. Or if you go and look into my old videos, anything that I did on skincare, you will see the marks. I normally have like big brown marks right here on my cheeks. So it's been really working beautifully and it goes in relatively easily. And that's it. And that's all that this, you have to do with this, but you have to do it. You have to do it every single day. If you do it every single day, I promise you in six months, look at this. This is years of this stuff and I have no problems. So next, serum. So I have an issue with this serum. The serum itself is actually quite good. It comes with a little pump on the top and it's a bit of a gel consistency. Same thing, rub it between the fingers. And I kind of apply, I try not to go over where I just put the cream because I don't want to like dilute it. 
this serum has a really nice soft feel to it you know it feels like um what was that primer that had like kind of a, not a silicone feel but i think it was by Too faced if i'm not mistaken i'll see if i can find that information but it has it it feels like baby powder and it smells like it too so it's highly highly scented and that's what bothers me because it's so scented and none of the other products are but because this serum is so scented if you are sensitive to scent you're not gonna like this not one bit but if you are not because I, I i don't care um it does work really well it does give you a nice even um finish a nice tone a little bit of brightening and you're good to go so those are the three barrier products that i've been working with that i'm really pleased with like i said the only exception i have is the scent that's in the serum it's a bit much for me but the finish is really nice everything else and i can wear this under makeup or i can wear this um in my nighttime routine so this is my nighttime routine right now so if it was daytime what i would do next is i would do this this is the murad essential day moisture um spf moisturizer so i need to really reinforce all these things with spf this is one thing um the consultant from brg skin told me she said you have to wear spf all the time all the time doesn't matter if you're not leaving your house doesn't matter if you're stepping out for five seconds all the time gotcha heard you loud and clear i'm wearing it okay so if it was daytime this is what i would be wearing because it is nighttime i'm wearing this I don't know how many people have seen this online. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Vital E Cream. It's a microbiome age defense cream. I did a video, I think, on this, and I will put it in the link below if I did it. My memory is sucks. I don't know what's going on with me. But I must have done something about it because I've had this for a while. I got this from Influencer. If you don't know what Influencer is, it's basically an online platform where you fill out reviews and um, they send you products to try, usually before they launch. So, the interesting about this thing is the cream looks solid. It's, it's not, it doesn't come off, it's not a gel. It's solid in your hand. But when you scrape a little bit off and you rub it together, it emulsifies. So it's a really nice, soft, oops, a little too close to my eye there, buddy. It's a really nice, soft um, finish. Really lovely texture. No scent. Nothing, um, at least, that will cause you any discomfort. And beautiful, beautiful, soft, really velvety, really smooth. And a little bit goes a long way. I'm just, you know, it's nighttime, so I'm putting on a lot extra. So with the exception of me trying to blind myself with it, it is a fabulous product. Now, in essence, I'm done. I would put on a little bit of my Laneige uh, lip balm because I love it and it's amazing. I would comb my hair out and that's it. I'm going to bed. So as short as this video has been, this system has worked with me so incredibly well over the last couple of months. I have seen such a dramatic improvement in my skin. And even though you are looking at my skin right now, because remember, I have no filter on this. There's no fancy lighting. There's nothing like that. You don't know how bad it was. So this is really good. I have aging skin that has not been taken care of over the years that I have abused when it comes to sun care, not using products, not having SPF on, all that good stuff. Years of Caribbean sun just baking, you know, thinking everything would be fine. And of course it caught up with me. So I think that this whole process has really been beneficial to me in one way. I've got months and months and months to try this stuff. And this is my new magic combination. So after so long, I hope that you enjoy this little mini video. I will have all the products that I discussed in the description box down below with links that you'll be able to take a look at. And I hope to be able to see you very soon because I have a number of other things coming up, like how I'm doing my hair at home in lockdown, which is quite a challenge for me. Um, and, but I'm expanding my content a little bit, like the things that I'm using for homeschooling because we're doing that now. Um, the things that I've used to set up a home office, the things I've done to improve my new home because I've moved and all the little things I bought on Amazon and Best Buy and wherever else to kind of get things 
where we need to be for this new life. And especially thank you to Ricky Mirrors, R-I-K-I, if you don't know who they are, this is not sponsored. I bought a mirror from them last year, October, with lights and a little holder and everything, and that's how I tape my videos. It just makes it easier for me. I had a problem with it, and I took a photo and sent it to them. And with no questions asked, they sent me a brand new mirror and a whole new setup without any stress. And that is the customer service I have been looking for. And I will continue to support them. So I will link them down below too. I have no relationship with this company whatsoever. It's just one of the best I've ever dealt with. So thank you so much for watching again. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you can, please subscribe. Every little bit helps. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.